However, this is the funky stuff. This is the part that's disappointing. This is the part that you want to see. Because of this square cut it on cameras, right, the ring is a little too low for the actual wireless charging part on your Samsung S23 Ultra. That is disappointing. Does the battery work? Yes. Is it great? Yes. Does it work for wireless charging? Mm, not so much. Hey everybody, today it is a phone case showdown for the Samsung S23 Ultra. If you're like me, you got a brand new phone, you want to make sure it stays protected and in tip top shape from drops and falls. And it seems like an impossible task that takes forever to try and find a forever type of phone case. Spoiler alert, you're gonna to wanna to see what happens when we use the mag ring with wireless charging, cause that's the whole point of having a mag ring case is you can use wireless charging devices. So we're looking at a couple here for the car. Yeah, we got one from Joy Room, one from Leeson. Let's get right into it. So we've got four different cases here, all designed specifically for the Samsung S23 Ultra. We've got the Male Wolf, the Sai Tong, the Taurus, and then this one is like S-L-Z-H-L-T-D, right? It's just a bunch of letters put together, okay? Now, all of these fit really nice around the Samsung S23 Ultra. Each one is slightly different, okay? So I'm gonna slide these two to the side. We're gonna focus on these two over here, the Maya Wolf and the Sai Tong. Now, if we look at these closely here, I'm just gonna rotate it around. Yeah, this one has a little bit more of a boxy shape instead of rounded around the sides, both of these, okay? And in general, they are both pretty much the same case when we're talking about the case, right? It has a similar translucency. One is green, one is purple, but you got more of a square cutout around the cameras right over here versus these ones over here which shape really the way that it looks on the back side of the Samsung S23 like so okay now there are two differences between these but what I do like about this boxy shape yes is that it fits really nice when you put the phone inside here and I like that not only do you get protection across the top so if you were to look at it perfectly flat and you lay this flat down you're gonna have protection in this direction but you it doesn't quite cover the sides of the phone here but it's not rounded with it so it does come up just a little bit higher on the left and right side versus the other ones which kind of match that contour kind of shape of the lens or of the screen itself. Now apples to apples as far as the rings are concerned, yes they both have a real nice strong solid hinge that holds its placement when it's here. Whether you're leaning it back, it's going to stand up. And when you're sideways, who really cares? This doesn't matter. The ring always works when it's sideways, okay? So I'm not too worried about like viewing uh, in a landscape mode. Really, I'm more concerned about vertical because you put more pressure on the hinge at the lower part than you do when it's sideways, okay? Now, that is great. And what I really like about these two versus the others is the amount you can actually bend the hinge back. So for me, it's really important that I have a phone that can actually sit almost vertically upright. I'm a dancer, right? I do stuff on the floor at the gym, like floor work so I need something that when I place my phone on the floor right I can get a very flat vertical line of sight out of the camera when I'm using the selfie camera right so a lot of uh, rings right they leave it angled up and you'll see this with these other ones here right that's as much as I can get it so I would just have to dangle it or I'd have to put something behind it so this is very important for me and I like having that extra bit of adjustment aside from that you're good to go you open you close and it works However, with this one, we actually have one slightly different thing, and that is that the ring itself can rotate all the way around 360 degrees, which is kind of cool. So we get that same, it almost has the same amount or even more adjustment where it can actually push the phone case forward so I can get this thing perfectly upright, which is great. And then if you're holding it right and you want to use this kind of like, I, I've had a pop socket for a long time, so I love having pop sockets, but now I can kind of put the ring over here while I have the phone in my hand, right? I can hold it, but if that's not quite feeling so ergonomic for me or maybe I want to hold it a little more centered right I can turn the ring around and bring it up here or you can adjust it sideways if you're somebody who wants to put your fingers through the ring okay I don't find any of the metal of the rings here sharp or dangerous I have seen some reviews on some of the different cases where people are like this is sharp it's not sharp okay people it's totally fine yes but aside from that yeah these two cases are basically the same yeah this one has just a little more adjustment with the ring as far as getting upright right angle of opening and you've got at 360 degrees okay aside from that these two cases are pretty much the same now if we move over to these cases that have this style we've got the Taurus and the SLZZHHXYZ over here yes okay similar but different so these ones as I mentioned before right they don't have as much adjustment with the ring as far as getting vertical what you're seeing here is what you're gonna get as far as the max angle that is up so if that's not an issue for you right then you're gonna be fine this one has a real nice solid hinge that's right 
right here. Yes, it opens, it closes, it snaps. It's been super ergonomic, just like all the other ones. Yes, but these ones are slightly more rounded, okay? Now you still have that same protection on the top if you're laying this thing flat down, but it kind of contours more around the side. So if it's important that you feel the curvature of your screen, right, it's gonna come down around the side a little bit more. Now, how do these two differ right here, okay, within their uh, respective category? So this one has a 360 ring too, kind of that pops around, so I don't know if you can see this, but you can take the ring and it rotates like so, and it has these nice little notches that pops into, and then when you want, you come up, you close it, and it snaps right in there, okay? Now with that being said, let me switch the case right here, right, I feel like this one has the weakest mag ring on the backside as far as this phone case stand is concerned, okay? The buttons feel nice, right they got a nice gratifying click on the side right it matches over thing, everything right here around the camera yes but if we open this up it pops out and let's just say we're gonna take this and open it and use it as is it's not gonna hold right because the way the hinge is opening it's not enough to go down. So what happens if we flip it all the way around? Yeah, we could do that. We're gonna have that support, but this one is really laid back compared to this one over here, right? So this one has way more of a recline, reclination, yeah? This reclines a lot better. It leans back even more, okay? What about if I want to do something sideways, right? You'd have to turn it down here, right? You can have your ring on the side like that, and it's gonna hold it up in its landscape position. You could turn the ring sideways, yes, and then you have a little bit more of a, an angle up, right, depending on where you're you're at yes but it's kind of like this hinge does not have a whole lot of oomph to it or gusto yeah so if you're gonna try and get the phone upright you could turn it sideways that's not too bad yeah as far as getting it to sit up a little more vertical but the more I come around the corner right the more it's gonna go down that's where it's at and this is just not usable at all on the backside because that's how it's gonna close over here so something to consider yeah aside from that um, you know that is what it is okay so out of all of these cases right here, okay, just out of between these two right here, okay, this is the, uh, what is this? This is the Taurus over here, okay? Now, out of these ones over here, both of these are great, actually. I like these. I think if I had to choose between one or the other, I would go with the uh, Sai Tong over here just because this ring does a 360, has nice uh, feel to it, the hinge is really stiff. So Sai Tong would win out of these two only because of that. Otherwise, these are both exactly the same. But wait, there's more because now you're gonna wanna see what happens with the mag charging because that's gonna be the real uh, throwing a wrench in the, in, the, in the motor there because it's gonna really ch gonna confuse the way you wanna make decisions. So let me show you that now. So now when it comes to the mag ring, wireless charging, for me the most important is actually the car, right? The whole reason I want the mag ring is that it's easy in and out. I don't have to plug it into USB anymore because of the wireless charging. So that's important, right? In the house, right, I'm probably sitting at my desk, I'm sitting next to the TV or I'm in my bed, right? I'm a little less mobile. I don't need necessarily wireless charging per se. So with the Joy Room, yeah, we've got magnetic connection right here and it's got some clamps on the side, which is super nice. So you take this, it automatically clips in, it understands that it wants to charge, it clamps in on the side, it holds it really tight, it's great, and then when I'm ready to take it out, I can press the button, the clamps open, and then when I'm ready to remove my phone, boom, I can pull it off and I can do that. Now this does pull the ring down a little bit because it's not clam clamped in as much, so I've kind of been playing to see if I can get it out just right without it popping the uh, mag ring off of the back out like maybe if I pull it to the side, but each time it kind of comes loose. So that is a little bit annoying. Now, on the other hand, we have this one, which is really cool because it's super clean. Yes, this has a magnetic piece right here as well. It does wireless charging. You could do this, boom, it clamps on. But how is the grip? Yeah, this is, right, I'm, I'm giving it a good shake. So unless you're off-roading super hard, right, I wouldn't be too concerned whether or not the magnetics of this wireless charger is gonna let you down. But same thing, same, <laughs> same issue when you're trying to take the phone off the back, right, with this particular case, it's coming loose. If we move over to the Saitong, once again, boom, clamps right on. Yeah, not bad. Give it a good solid shape. Yeah, I feel confident with the, the grip that this thing has right here. And then once again, if we switch over here, yes, and we open up the joy room, straightforward, boom, slide it in, pops in, this thing automatically closes. We got a nice little clamp, same thing, press the button, it's out. And even, even if I shake it, I don't know why the clamps would be open on the side and I'd be shaking my phone vigorously, but we still got that option right here, okay? And the ring just kind of stays in closed and snaps closed. However, this is the funky stuff. 
This is the part that's disappointing. This is the part that you wanna see. Now, when it comes to these cases, I'm just gonna show you one because the result is exactly the same, okay? So, if we take the Joyroom charger, it could be any charger, it doesn't really matter. We slide it in, nothing's happening. You notice how the clamps aren't closing. The magnetic part is here is happening, okay? So what happens is once this thing detects that you've got a magnet and wireless charging on there, the clamps will actually close. So if I wiggle it down just a little bit, I might be able to get it to trigger and set itself off. But watch what happens when I open it. It's barely held on in there, okay? So there is something wrong, and let me show you on this one as well, with the placement of the rep mag ring. Okay, spoiler alert. Yeah, this is not charging. Let me show you once again. Let me turn it off. Okay, the hold is good, but it can't do wireless charging. Okay, and it's not the wireless charger. And let me show you what I figured out. Okay, and this is the disappointing part. So if we take these two cases, okay, and we butt them up back to back, Okay, so this is the Taurus right here. This is the Sai Tong, which is basically the same as this one. So if we butt them up back to back, yes, the Sai Tong, hopefully you can see through there, yes, and you'll see that the ring here is higher up on the back of the phone, okay? Probably because there's a cutout right here for the camera, which gives them a little extra space to actually move the ring up into this area right here. And because of that, because of this square cut it on cameras, right, the ring is a little too low for the actual wireless charging part on your Samsung S23 Ultra. That is disappointing. Okay, so maybe I just saved you a bunch of uh, time and hassle between buying a bunch. Maybe I should have led with that, but hey, whatever. It's too late now. So something to consider. Does the mag ring work? Yes. Is it great? Yes. Does it work for wireless charging? Hmm not so much. So hopefully that helps and the choice is yours and yours alone. But if you're like, Brandon, which one are you going to choose? Well, the hunt for my forever case is still on, but I really like these ones over here. So I guess I'm going to be looking for more cases that have the cutout that fit the camera perfectly so that the ring is more elevated and in line with the wireless charging pad in the phone. But I'd really like the one that's like over here, like the Saitong that has a ring that rotates 360 degrees because it is really comfortable and ergonomic on the hand. And I like that ability to get my phone perfectly upright if I'm going to be using it on the floor for dance and things of that nature. When it comes to the car phone charger holder over here, really there is no loser on these. These are both great. They got really great magnetics. They have a super strong hold. This one looks super low key and discreet when you're going to use it in the car because it's just a small little pad and you have that ability to easily rotate your phone left and right. So if you need to turn it to the side, you can do that. So if that's important to you, I'd probably say this one over here. But for me, I like that added peace of mind of the clamps that close on the side once I put it in there. So that is probably the one that I'm going to stick with right here as far as the joy room is concerned. So hopefully that helps. I'll see you all in another video.